Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to this little guide video. We had one for TW 2020, we did one for the beta, and just a little update one for TEW 9 here. I've gotten used to calling it TEW 9, not TWIX, which is helpful to me at least. <laughs> uh, we're just going to go over all the details of purchasing your game, setting up your game, installing your mods and your picture packs, and getting ready for you to go and be free to do whatever you want in the latest in the tw franchise so Tiger stream wrestling 9 here on the gray dog software website first of all you want to try out which is understandable you know you want to check the system requirements make sure you're you can run it maybe you're not so tech savvy though you want to try it before you buy it which is fair you know obviously you can get the demo download right here you can click this button and it will bring you here ready to install the latest beta patch you know download this file bish bash bosh okay um nice and easy if you want to try the demo it will limit you to three months of game time but you can still use mods still use picture packs you can make sure that your you know system whatever you're using can run the game before you you know spend any money on it which is fair but assuming you've done that you've just you know you know your system's gonna work you know you know, you're ready. You've planned out your booking. <laughs> you want the full game. Three months isn't enough anymore. What do you do? Well, nice and easy. You go here on the CW website, or Grader Software website, Tele Extreme Wrestling 9, buy game button, and you get to this screen with all of the games. TW2020 is on a little discount. Emphasis on little. Um, and $34.95 at the minute in pounds, wherever your currency is as well. It's $34.95 as well. I'm not entirely sure what your currency is, but you go here. Add it to your cart, nice and easy, and then you'll be ready to go. You'll put in your email, you know, agree with their terms of service, however you want to pay it, bish, bash, bosh. Go through that system and, you know, your game we purchased. What do you do then? Well, once you purchased, you'll get an email that looks like this. And it'll have, you know, your name, well done, you bought it, here you go, how much you paid. And you have this, your license key, this 25 letter code. Don't worry, this isn't my license key as much as we all oh, wish it was. Mm -mm -mm. If you're just here for this and you don't have any idea what's on the channel, that's confusing. Ignore it. And you have this for the retail installer uh, to install, you know, whatever the latest patch is. Uh, over here, though, on the Grey Dog Software website, a little thing I will show you importantly. Nope. Uh... <laughs> Right, go to the main page of the Grey Dog Software forums. This is going to be really helpful. Uh, go to tech support and in here, current patch. And this is where you'll install all your updates. You know, when you're playing Total Extreme Wrestling, you'll know it will pop up occasionally saying there's a new patch. This is where you'll go. Grey Dog Software, web Grey Dog Software website, Total Extreme Wrestling 9, tech support, current patch. It'll be pinned to the top. And this will have the latest patch for you to download of your game. I've just installed it. Um, 1.09, 1.09. So that'll be simple. And it'll be ready to go. So you've purchased it. You've got the code. You're ready to install it. You'll get the setup wizard. Next. I'm happy to install it there. Absolutely. And then click to install. And then nice and simple. Just wait for it to install. Nice and easy. <laughs> a lot of this, a lot of installing anything is just sitting by and waiting. This is just to help you do specific steps and most importantly, you know, if you're new, understanding how to get those real world mods in if that's what you're interested in because it's what I was interested in when I started so I'd understand and those pitch packs. I'm just going to let this install and then I'll take you to the next step. And that probably took about three or so minutes for me so no, you know, not too long. Set up, press finish and then another note, it will uninstall the beta or demo if you already have that which is helpful because i'm lazy uh, <laughs> it will pop up this the license wizard so simple activate your license activate online enter your activation key that 25 letter code you know within the five sets of fives with your hyphens and when that's done and finished your game all ready and then you've got this license management button making it a bit easier if you want to you know, manage your license, deactivate it, activate it somewhere else. I just like to pin it to the taskbar so it's there. And then bish bash bosh, you are started and ready to go version 1.09, which will change as the updates come. And it varies from time to time, but sometimes that man updates like hell. I mean, 
if you think about it, we had the beta last week, and we've already had, like, nine updates, so, like, fair play to you, Mr. Ireland. Um, and, yeah, and now I'll just quickly go over how to install mods, how to install picture packs, so you can fully get started. You're all ready to go with Cornellverse, if that's what you choose, but if you want a bit more, then stay tuned. Now, I will posit two main places for you to get the things we're going to talk about. First of all, back on the Great Elf Software Forums, TW9, instead of tech support, go with mods, obviously. Um, and in here, they'll have mods, I mean, for everything. There's a lot coming along, a lot of hype, as you can see. Uh, <laughs> because, obviously, the full game's released, like, 15 minutes ago. It's time of recording. It's going to take some time, but again, they're going to come. Another place, though, uh, that I've used quite often is TWDB here, uh, which has links to loads of mods, uh, helping with the coordinate link with the Veilverse, Real World Update, Real World Chronicles. I personally prefer... Reward Chronicles, shout out Questlove, um, and also have links to graphic packs as well. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to go with my personal favourites. I mean, you, you can have a look here all yourself, you know, uh, and have a look at time periods and everything. Decide when you want to start your game and when you want to start your rebooking or future booking from. Um, my personally, I'm a big fan of Real World Chronicles by Questlove. It's the one I mainly use, so I'm going to come here. And as you can see, we have the latest June edition, JPEG or GIF. It's your decision. I prefer GIF if I can... I'll get up Joe Murphy's Super Awesome Man of Pick Patch just to show you the difference. Um, yeah, so JPEG is these ones that are just the full square. It's fully filled in, so it's the bigger picture. And GIFs are the smaller picture... But then they have the backgrounds that you can customize. And in TW9, you can customize them a lot more as well. You can customize them by brand, um, by stable. There's, there's a lot more options um, for them, which is why I personally go with GIFs. So I will install our picture packs. And I will install the latest version. Make sure it's the GIF edition or the pictures won't work. Um, and I'll give those a download as well. Okay, so you have them both installed, and then it's just nice and easy for the mod, for example. As you can see, if you go to your folder where you installed TW9, databases is what we're looking for. I already have uh, this one installed, 0624, you know, Real Chronicles, but it's nice and easy. It's just simple as get your download, drag it across. It'll be in there, nice and easy, ready to go. Um... I, 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 uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get another one just for you, just to demonstrate. Nice and easy, it goes off. Real Chronicles, June 2024. Uh, for picture packs, it's a little bit different now uh, with the game change, but super awesome mega picture pack. Or Samp. <laughs> uh, as you can see, it's got all your different folders, and you'll just get the main one, and you'll drag it across. I'm not going to do that because it's a bit more effort with this. As you can see, I already have one, and if I show you, I'll get them both up. So as this is the TW 2020 design one, and if I go on the one for TW9, as you can see, it's got more folders. Um, if you just directly copy and paste it across, it won't work, okay? What you've got to do is you've got to move the main folder across this one. So I'll give you the demonstration. Nice and easy. Just drag that across to bring your new files in give that a second a lot of pictures to you know transfer which is fair okay and this is here so i'm just going to get them both up at the same time to kind of clearly visually kind of show the difference here so this on the right with the one we just installed from tw2020 which will still work and on the right we have left we have the one from tw9 as you can see different folders what i'm just going to do is literally if you don't see a folder name here I'm just going to copy it across, okay? What I did originally, I just had a look at the default one. I saw what was in there, so logo backdrops, for example. Um, damn, they, they they put a lot of work into this game. you got to respect it. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I'll just go to this one. And... Copy it across. So, what's new? Defaults, logo backdrops... Logos, people's here, random, stable, and stable backdrops. I'm just going to copy those folders across. Take a bit of time, depending on what's in there. And then, bada bing, bada boom. 
this will work perfectly now. So if I go over, load up TW9, your database button here, the free circle, kind of the tower of circles, what are we looking for? It's not going to be here. Why isn't it going to be here? Because it's a TEW2020 database. So you got to go to the database editor here, your tools, convert the database, nice and easy. Just press convert. It will run through it. It will take a minute because it's converting a lot of data, obviously. Um, but once it's finished, it will delete the TW2020 version and it will leave you just the TW9 version. I'll show you how to put a picture pack on and then you'll be ready to go. There you go, delete TW2020 database, yes, complete. And then on the little database icon, it'll pop up Real World Chronicles June 2024 or whatever database mod you're using. And a nice and simple database details right here at the bottom, give that a click and then picture folder. And we're gonna be going with SAMPP GIF 24.6, that's what we had. And then if I just uh, click, I'll click WWE, to demonstrate, uh, the WD picture is there. And if I just go to workers, just to show you an example of, you know, one of the wrestlers, uh, pictures, forms in this, um, Adam Cole, baby, you're on the page. Give him a click. And there he is. Nice and beautiful. And like I was saying about gifts, as you can see, he's a smaller square. And then the outside will be dependent on his company, his brand, his stable, whatever the case. But yes, now your game is purchased, installed, you got your mod, you got your picture back, and you are ready to press new game. And that means it is it for here. I hope you have enjoyed. I am so excited. This game literally released like half an hour. I can't wait to get into it. Create my database ready. Uh, as of recording, it's SummerSlam tonight, so I'll be watching that eagerly, editing the database as it goes, ready to start my own series on this channel. So if you have enjoyed and you'd like to see how I'm going to book on TW9, why don't you subscribe, leave a like, uh, any comments or questions, or you know, let me know what's you know what companies you're planning on doing, what mod you're looking forward to, what time period you want to book in. Let me know. I'd be interested to see what everyone's kind of thinking. Me personally, I'm booking WWE post SummerSlam 2024. Uh, fingers crossed Hunter doesn't ruin the booking decisions I've planned based on what I think is going to happen. Oh boy. That's it for today. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, please do leave a like and subscribe for more to not miss a thing. TW9's here. I'm back. I'm excited. Oh, let's get into this, baby. Like, subscribe, leave your comments. And as always, I just want to say a very special thank you for watching.